News Alert. We're following breaking news this midday. I'm Shannon Kogan. We're following news of a crash on I-65 near the outer loop and then a short distance away. Another crash. Police say they are connected and it all started with a shooting. Sean Bowdy is live outside UofL Hospital with more on what happened, Sean. Yes, yeah, Shannon, it's a situation that even to police the story is convoluted. Them explaining to us what happened, telling us straight up they're still in the preliminary parts of this and still trying to figure out exactly what happened. We do know now two people inside UofL Hospital are being treated for separate injuries in this incident. Now, we'll start with what happened or what we believe to have happened first on 65. You can see some video that we've got from some of the Trimark cameras out there this morning. Police say they initially actually got a call from something down the road on Outer Loop, but you can see the initial scene here that police say uh, happened first. We do know uh, that those two scenes that we mentioned are connected. There's a shooting. Uh, it's unclear if that shooting happened there on 65 or just off the exit there on Outer Loop. Police tell us, though, they received a call from that Outer Loop location uh, from someone saying that they had been shot. Police got on scene, called EMS. EMS brought them here uh, to U of L Hospital. Then that's when police said they got another call to that uh, car that was on 65 and though that incident may have happened first that's the one they responded to second police talked to him he said he'd been in a fight with a car uh, presumably the one that they had just found someone shot in and that he was uh, pr uh, possibly the shooter that's what he told us uh, Donnie Burbring from LMPD is who we talked to this morning and he says it's really hard during a situation like this this close to when it happened to come out uh, and say exactly what happened he, he explained to us here just a little bit about how they they're moving forward in this. We, we, we've seen multiple homicide shootings and stuff like that where your scene is vast from all the shell casings and stuff, and that takes a long time to do the proper collection of evidence. With this, it's more about just identifying the exact area where things took place. He does say that they have people in custody. Everyone that he believes to have taken part of this, uh, at least criminally involved, it has been arrested and or placed into custody. So he, he did he did want to reiterate there uh, that there's no reason for anyone around there to be concerned, that there's any danger outside of that, that this was an isolated incident, that everyone uh, involved in this is accounted for. We'll continue to update uh, on that story. As soon as police have a little bit more information on that uh, as well, and we'll try to get you updates on uh, the two people inside here at UOL Hospital. Reporting live, Sean Bowdy, Wave News. Thank you, Sean. Let's get